It's been about a four month gap for Doctor Who fans, waiting impatiently for the new series to start. Thankfully, Season 2, aka Series 15 of Doctor Who, is mostly finished filming, guaranteeing a good future for the series. But before that, the new series of 14, aka Season 1, is less than three days away. This is the start of the first proper series of adventures for the 15th Doctor, played by Shooty Gatwa and his companion Ruby Sunday, played by Millie Gibson. Let's look into the first episode, Space Babies. Talking preview pictures, clips, and a healthy bit of theorizing on what might happen. Spoiler warning, we'll be discussing all of the officially released promotional material, as well as our own theories. You've been warned. Greetings everyone, I'm Jack and welcome to Tardis Central. If you want to keep up to date on all the latest Doctor Who news, lore and more, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from the team here at Tardis Central. You can also follow us on social media for daily updates on the Doctor Who universe. As always, please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, because if you're talking about Doctor Who, then we want to hear about it. Okay, let's go. Titled Space Babies, this first episode was written by Shona Russell T. Davies and directed by Julie Ann Robinson, her first time directing for the series. Hopefully this will be a refreshing start to the series. Obviously, as we continue into episode previews, the synopsis and speculation, there is a spoiler warning in place, I can't emphasize it enough, let's get into it. The official episode synopsis reads as follows. Ruby learns the Doctor's amazing secret when he takes her to the far future. There, they find a baby farm run by babies, but can they be saved from a terrifying boogeyman? Naturally, plenty of promotional stills have been released before Space Baby's airing. A few of the Doctor and Ruby are standing what looks to be a nursery. The bottom part of the walls are adorned with children's drawings. These are the same sort of drawings we saw in the episode title reveal clip, wanted by the shadow of the boogeyman. The mess on the floor could be a children not tidying up after themselves, it could also be the aftermath of a boogeyman coming through this part of the building. Let's also look at one of the episode's guest stars, Josh and Sankria played by Golda Rochevel. We see her watching a bunch of monitors, presumably security camera footage from around the station. At a guess, her character is sort of security guard or guardian for the babies. Seeing her with the Doctor and Ruby, I look forward to seeing what she does in the episode. Looking at the monitors, it looks like the dark corridors where the Doctor and Ruby run into the Boogeyman in the trailer. Our looks at the Boogeyman are scarce, but it looks like a horrific creature and one that might be very scary. Returning to these monitors reminds me of the Five Nights of Freddy's. Basically, you need to watch the monitors for the monsters walking around the building. Building. In this case, I wonder if Jocelyn's been watching the monitors to protect the space babies from the boogeyman. Speaking of which, an interesting callback would be if like Jocelyn was like a foster nanny, the same way the adipose lady was, Miss Foster, in um the parting of it's not parting ways, um whatever the episode was called of Donna and the Doctor. I've forgotten because I added this bit to the script. You know what I mean. I can't remember the episode name now. What's the one where Donna uh, meets the Doctor again? I can't remember it. I'm gonna Google it. In that episode called Partners in Crime. Yes, I did just have to Google that because I completely forgot. Okay, back on track. Finishing off, there are a couple of looks of a Doctor and Ruby standing in front of looks to be cryopods. The episode synopsis does mention this being a baby farm, so it's a safe assumption that this is where the babies are grown. They like cloning. For Ruby's first proper trip into space, it's going to be a bit of a silly one. Although with the horrific boogeyman just around the corner, there's also a good sense of danger. This does look to be a fun reintroduction to the series. The preview clip for this episode takes place entirely on the space station. A brief exchange between the Doctor and Ruby, it starts with the Doctor explaining his philosophy, reinvigorated of many post-Timeless Child and post-Bi-Generation updates. As a result, the Doctor has no people, no home, and is an observer of the wonders of the cosmos. For new viewers, that's a lovely, simple way to get caught up with the sort of hero the Doctor is. He also defines Ruby as an audience surrogate, with the universe looking more beautiful through her eyes. Just as a heads up, we can't play the full preview clip for you in the video due to copyright restrictions. As such, if you go to the link in the video description, you can watch it fully. Then come back here for a breakdown. Outside of just the characters, we learn that the station is in orbit of a planet called Pacifico del Rio. The Doctor and Ruby look out to it in awe, taking in the beauty of Ruby seeing her first alien planet. Here, viewers also learn, or are reminded of, the TARDIS translation matrix. This allows the Doctor and Ruby to read and understand everything they encounter in their travels. The past few episodes have done a great job reintroducing the series, main elements to new viewers, and this looks to be no exception. The clip doesn't end on a cliffhanger or anything but I'd love to know where they go from there. It looks like the Doctor will keep exploring the station or look at the pods behind him. But days like these line at the start implies something has already happened. So I wonder how the pair actually get to this point and how the time of the station actually opens. It's an exciting clip to share, leaving the episode's plot a bit of a secret. I'm very excited to see where this goes. You can check out the clip, link below. 
The title and synopsis give us relatively little to work with. The episode drags the movie into space for the first time and was a baby farm run by babies. It's a sort of gloriously ridiculous premise that Doctor Who tends to excel at. It looks like the episode will be a juggling a bit of horror with a lighthearted comedy of talking babies. I hope this comedy doesn't go too far into the immature and childish and just remains funny. Looking back at the Christmas 2023 episode of The Church on Ruby Road, that initial episode did a good job of balancing humour and the plot. We've recently created a recap of the episode, if you need to refresh your memory, it's here on the channel. I'm unsure how the Boogeyman factors into this, especially where it comes from and what it wants. It looks like a monster almost too ugly, not to be misunderstood. Perhaps there's more going on behind the scenes with these babies that meets the eye, and they're a little more menacing than we initially believed. That would be a fun twist on what already is a pretty silly episode. With the idea of a baby farm, a bit of a commentary on reproductive rights is also on the cards. I hope this episode is not only a delight, but also totally surprises me. Given the reduced episode count, there's a good chance this will introduce a little arc for the series. The arcs previously written by Russell T. Davies include a lot of repeated phrases, or allusions. Examples being Bad Wolf, Orchard, Mrs. Saxon, and The Missing Planets. I hope this is a diversion from that and is something a little more physical to carry us through the series. Looking at the penultimate episode title, The Legend of Ruby Sunday, it seems like there might be more to the companion than meets the eye. Maybe nobody could find any relatives for a reason. Who knows? Doctor Who's new season debut episode, Space Babies, looks to be quite a lot of fun. The adventurous and wild bit of a Doctor Who we live on. We've got the Doctor and Ruby facing down a monster in the form of a boogeyman, which should give an episode of a bit of horror. On the other side of this, we've got Talking Babies, which is bound to be very funny and a delight. It's set to be balancing a lot of very different genres. I hope it turns out to be crazy and whimsical delight rather than feeling like a confused mess. Hopefully Sean and Rossi T. Davies series opener can pull it off. I'm also looking forward to the show reintroducing space travel through the eyes of Ruby Sunday. If that clips anything to go off, we're in for quite the wondrous experience. I'll also be keeping my eyes peeled for the introduction of a series arc with so many stories set up during the church on Ruby Road. I hope this new series can build on them. I can't wait to see where the show is going next. We are excited. Doctor Who started its air on Christmas Day 2023 with The Church on Ruby Road. The episode saw Shooty Gatwa and Millie Gibson debut as a Doctor and Ruby Sunday. So, Doctor Who premieres at midnight on Saturday, May 11th on BBC iPlayer with a double bill episode. The episodes will stream internationally on Disney+, Plus, Doctor Who's exclusive home outside the UK and Ireland giving audiences around the world a simultaneous global launch. Episodes will also air on BBC One each week in a primetime slot on Saturday evening. So if you don't want to stay up to midnight, understandably, but you kind of should, you can also watch on traditional TV on the Saturday at primetime. Hooray! Let me know in the comments, are you watching on iPlayer or are you watching on BBC One when it comes out on TV? So, what do you think of Doc 2's upcoming first episode? While the title of Space Babies might be a little bit odd, Let's see where it goes. If you want to stay up to date on all the latest Doctor Who news, lore and more, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from the team here at Tired Essential. You can also follow us on social media for daily updates on the Doctor Who universe. For now, I've been Jack. Thanks for watching. We'll see you very soon. Goodbye.